Ooh. Welcome everyone um, to this second stream of um, Numia for Steam Next Fest. Um, it's early morning here. I hope you have a good day wherever or whatever time it is where you're at. Um, today we're going to play the demo version that's currently available for Steam Next Fest of Numina. Um, let me start it right up so we can have it in the background um, while we wait a bit for the others to arrive. Oh, that's a bit loud, just a second. I guess it was only loud for me. Um, yeah, let me see. Thanks for joining in, everyone. Um, Numina Part 1 will actually release in less than two weeks. Can you believe it? Two weeks after all this time. Um, part 1 will contain about like two-thirds of the story, about 24 hours of gameplay. Um, and with Part 2, the finale releasing later this year without a specific date yet. Um, but yeah, the demo that we're going to play in this stream today, um, you can already play it right now for Steam Next Fest, and um, you can take over your save games from the demo over to part one once that releases. So if you want to, you can start playing right away now, and then in less than two weeks, take over your save games automatically um, when starting up part one. It will release for uh, PC, Linux, and macOS, and I think that is all the information out of the way that we need. So let me just have another quick look if everything is working. Because um, we started a bit early, but we are on the dock now. Um, Awesome. And we already have over 100 people in. Welcome everyone. Um, yeah, this has been, uh, for those of you who are new to the project or haven't heard about it before, uh, it's been a pretty long time coming. <laughs> I've, worked for, I've worked on this over multiple years, I don't even want to think about it, so it's very exciting for me to finally uh, get to this point where I can soon release it and share it with the world. And today we'll just get a small glimpse of the game. The demo is about an hour. Um, it starts right at the beginning of the game, but in today's stream I'll skip a bit ahead. Um, so you get some uh, um, surprises on your own when you play it, <laughs> when you play it for yourself. So, let's make use of the time we have and get playing, right? Uh, yeah, that's the one. So this is about, I think, um, 10 minutes in, like I said. we Today we're skipping a bit ahead um, and not start directly at the beginning. Um, but that's... Uh, that's all right, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and I almost feel bad talk talking over this bit uh, because I wanted to shout out the amazing soundtrack done by Thomas J. Peters. Um, who did most of the music for Lumina. Um, you can get the soundtrack right now on Spotify. Oh, hello there, Ibno. I show also up early today, I see. <laughs> um, yeah, the soundtrack is on Spotify, but also on Steam um, right now as DLC. Um, proceeds go all to the composer because he did such an amazing job and uh, yeah, check out his other stuff. Um, I'm really happy how this all turned out. Um, but yeah, this is our little group of heroes that we're starting off with. Um, talking right now is Sean. Um, next to him is Raphael's friend. We'll get to know them all a bit better just in a second. And next to him is Aura, Sean's little sister. <clears throat> 
They're making sort of a day trip to the Temple of the Clouds, which is near their home village. Um, Sean's sister Aura has a has an illness that sort of weakens her, and she isn't really able to do uh, much walking um, for a long period of time. So they thought, let's, um, for a change, take this little hike. We'll take it easy and slow, and you'll get to see the beautiful temple up in the cloud at the mountaintops. Um, that's where our story sort of begins. Um, also, once more, shout out to the amazing character portrait arts done by Clidensu. Um, you can find her on Instagram. Um, yeah, once more, I think she did, uh, did an amazing job. Sean says, uh, We're almost there, Aura. The Temple of the Clouds isn't far from here. Don't worry, I've still got plenty of energy. Yeah, we'll see about that. And here's Raphael, Sean's <coughs> good friend. Nevertheless, we still have a long way ahead. Sure, you don't need a short break. Boo, I bet you're the ones who's exhausted and won't admit it. Let's go. I haven't seen her that happy in a long time. This trip was a good idea. It takes, takes her mind off things. It was her idea. She often wanted to come with us. But she, since she was feeling so bad lately... Let's catch up with her before she climbs the mountain on her own. Yeah, let's do that. And this is us. Up to walking around these treacherous paths. Yeah, this is um, one of the first areas that I did for this iteration of the game because there have been quite a few over these years and uh, it was very important to get this feeling of the sort of heights and serene beauty of the uh, mountains, right? And I think it really came together very well. At least we're able to see something. Yeah, though I doubt that Aura would care. Right, the more clouds the better. <laughs> And yeah, while the beginning here is a bit more linear and you don't have that many converging paths, uh, later in the game you get to explore a bit more in the dungeons that come up and there are also like treasures you can find, hidden equipment or side quests that um, uh, most of the time are more a bit uh, about uh, learning a bit more about the world, the lore and all that stuff. I don't like to do too, <clears throat> too many... Um, what's it called, like, uh, collecting X amount of something quests. Hatch quests, that was the word I'm looking for. Come on, Ruff, let's go, says Aura. Whoops, and she tripped. Aura. It's nothing, I just blacked out a little. I told you not to overexert yourself. Sure, Ruffle is happy about every break he can get. Oh, look at that smug face of Sean. Uh, that's, I think that's my favorite face. Get on my back, Aura. I'll carry you for the rest of the way. Thanks. Oops. And that's us again. Look how he's carrying our piggyback. Oh, and someone's following us. Who might that be? Serious figure, final boss, says Eilish in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> that's the final boss of the game. We just don't know it yet. Can we stop just for a moment? Sure. Why does she need a break? She was just being carried. <laughs> Looks like someone's overdone it. Overdone? You're imagining things. I'll go ahead and check if the way's passable. I'm taking care of the little one over here. You just want to play the hero again. Now get going. It would be a shame if we had to descend after nightfall. Would be a shame, right? Oh, 
look up there, wolf. I actually didn't notice before. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was always too, um, um, just occupied with seeing Sean break through the bridge. Sean! And he loses his cape. I, I'm fine. And you're worried about me? At least we know what kind of condition these bridges are in now. It's all very well for you to laugh. Are you feeling better, Aura? Yeah, that scare woke, woke her right up. Let's continue. So, we can check this little side way down here just because I was talking about being able to explore in a bit. Oh, a treasure chest. What might it be? A small potion. Well, I guess it would be, this would be a good opportunity to show you a bit of the inventory. Uh, not the menu. <laughs> there is an inventory in the menu. Um, but yeah, since Numina is an RPG, there are probably um, some elements you can expect from an RPG. We have uh, skills <clears throat> that won't play that much of a role in the demo. Um, but later on, since most of the elements are just sort of introduced in the demo because it only spans for an hour, obviously there's only so much you can do. Um, we have also equipment um, for all the of all of the characters' um, quests. You can change the uh, order um, in which they appear in battle, and I think that covers most of it for now. Um, later on in the game, you also get um, things like a monster book where you can sort of collect monsters, but not really collect, like um, scan or uh, memorize the monsters you see to get some achievements. Um, if you're a completionist in the game. Um, because, uh, yeah, the game features Steam achievements, um, and yeah, I guess also trading cards and all that stuff. This fog, I can barely see a thing, says Sean. These paths aren't called paths of shrouding mist for nothing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I think it's pretty. We should just wait a moment. Hawk will lift for sure. Just wait a moment, sir. And yeah, since um, Numina is originally a German game and the all the English dialogues are just translated, like names for locations and places are always um, a bit difficult. And but I'm very happy actually with Paths of Shrouding Mist. It sounds way more poetic than the German name does, which is just sort of called Fog Paths, if you translate it one to one. Poor Zerpina, and here we see a statue, and they're just going to talk about it now, of um, <coughs> the central uh, religious figure in the world, which is called Proserpina. And Raphael says, the chronicles say that she was a very kind-hearted person. She brought life's breath to Alterna, after all. And life's breath is the sort of um, uh, omnipresent force that enables magic in the world, that powers technology, and, um, well, it's not um, everywhere, which is something that the story will um, also explore. Um, yeah, but it's, um, she was actually, Proserpina was actually a real person in the world that lived at one point, and it's believed that she brought this energy into the world. But yeah, let's, <laughs> as I'm getting on a tangent here, Aura says, Aura says, let's move on, there's certainly a lot more to see. Why the hurry? This lady's always worth a second look. Come on, you can always Google her back home in Halloween. All these stone tablets around here probably have interesting information about the temple. Uh, Igna says, maybe it's interesting to see why some of the maps are in 4 to 3 ratio and other maps may use... Oh yeah. Um, well, 
some of that, there are some maps where they have um, like a black border on them that's just sort of um, because of the history of the game uh, because it started off in a much earlier version of the engine um, that it's using but that's more technical background yeah some some kind of death history exactly another thing I wanted to show you is if you see Rafa just mentioned that the stone tablets around here have some lore dance <laughs> information and you see uh, i hope you can see it in the stream there's this little eye icon popping up and uh, it just indicates that there's something you can um, check or i see and these are most of the time uh, like in bookshelves you can read a book that there's there or like look at a picture and it's most of the time just sort of background information and this one says, the Temple of the Clouds is one of the last buildings that was conceived in its principles by the master architect Gerard. It was also the first temple completed after Gerard's death. Hmm. So let's go to the centerpiece of the said temple. So and here we are in the Temple of the Clouds, which I would say is, um, yeah, I guess one of the more iconic, um, <laughs> or one of the more recognizable um, locations of the game. And yeah, it's also. I guess special in a way because once uh, once again it was one of the earlier locations I did and so um, this has been with me for plenty of years now <laughs> and yeah I'm so happy how it all um, looks and holds up the sort of um, clouds that are hovering above the place and yeah it's called Temple of the Clouds for a reason right and just as ours as beautiful Let's, let's not flatter ourselves too much. <laughs> it's even prettier than I expected it to be. The altar, the clouds. The clouds, hmm? You like it here, don't you? Oops. Don't say anything, I'm fine. You sure? Yes, I'm already feeling better. No reason to worry. We should keep an eye on her. Maybe the ascent was a little too much for her after all. Can't you see how happy she is, being her with her clumsy brother and my humble self? It makes me happy to see her like that, she deserves. You're right. Well, let's see what else this temple has to offer. Yeah, let's have a look around. And I think once more you can check these statues for information. Um, I think during last stream I picked this one, which I totally forgot the name <laughs> of the character. Um, but I, let's maybe... I think this one is the architect of the temple, Gerard. Yes, imagine, <laughs> imagine if I got that one wrong. The master builder and architect commissioned by Preserkina to design the city of Kor and many temple buildings. Let's talk with Raphael over here. I'm worried. Aura seems to be happy, but she's trying to hide how exhausted she is from the climb. She probably got that attitude from you, always trying to keep others from worrying, even back when Haley was still here. Yeah, we were an inseparable bunch back then. We still are, even without Haley. Sure, but enough talk. Let's take a closer look at the temple. I'm really happy that we're here. We were worried it might be too exhausting for you. Please stop worrying about me, Sean. Where do you think Mother is right now? If only I knew, I think she's still searching for a cure for you. I want to ask you something, so please be honest with me. 
Am I a burden to you? Why would you think that? Mom is away because of me and everybody else. You, Raphael and Dad are always worried about me. It's nobody's fault, Aura. Every single one of us will help you through this as much as we can. Because you matter to us, you're not a burden. see the little, um, how they hug each other, it's actually, um, yeah, it's really, you have to, um, do all the graphics by themselves because it's 2D, like, you can't just have cool 3D models, like, hugging each other, you have to <laughs> make a special graphic for each little pose that there is, just, um, again, a little bit of death background, um, but at least are always fun to do because, yeah, pixel art is already sort of limited in a way you can express things. Um, but yeah, Sean is saying you're the one who's worrying too much. Right, no need to rub it in. And now, let's take a look around. Maybe we can start find something we can show that. Yeah, let's get moving. Because, right about now, we're getting introduced to the central mechanic of the game, um, just in a second. What a magnif magnificent sight. True, though it's nothing compared to the other masterpieces. Don't get me started on the Sanctum of Core. You are talking about that Gerard, aren't you? Yes, the legendary architect whose visions shaped the temples of Alterna. What a fanboy. Alright, I haven't taken a look at the altar yet. Someday we'll show you the Sanction of Core. It's even more <clears throat> It's more beautiful than everything you've seen. That's a bit sumptuous. Hey you, wait. Um, yeah, and this is um, this is us now. This is the um, um, sort of our voice in the head of the main protagonist that, and we get to express what we want to tell Sean um, through these player choices, right? Uh, this one here um, isn't really um, doing anything special, right? It's more or less both the same with a bit of a different flavor. Um, but in later instances, um, not as much as in the demo, but definitely later on, um, these choices will um, af definitely affect um, how the story progresses, you can, um, how characters think of you, and we'll see a bit of that in a bit. Um, let's say, hey you, what was that? And yeah, he's sort of oblivious right now what's happening. Aura, what's the matter? She just fell off the Sean, are you okay? Stay calm, Aura. Aura! Raph, what's up with her? I think she's having a seizure. What should I do? Ooh, secret passageway. Thank goodness, her breathing seems to have calmed down. I might... Raphael, please take care of her. I'll try to get under this barrier somehow. Are you sure that's a good idea? I'll have to try. I'll be with you soon. Be careful. Who knows what's down there? Yeah, I'm sure it's a good idea. Ouch. Sorry, I just wanted to check something. Uh... Ah, <laughs> that's me before the stream because it's quite early here and I was very tired. But I'm um, <laughs> I'm very excited still. Don't get me wrong. Um, I have to find a way out. And once more, we get to pick something that we want to tell Sean. And often, um, yeah, it's not always about like 
um, huge world-defining consequences. Sometimes it's also more about just um, flavoring your response to how you want to come across. Because even in maybe these little ones, where one of them, um, some, of, some of the times maybe it's more about having a bit of sassy attitude versus um, just being neutral. And it also influences how um, the um, relationship between you and Sean and also other party members that will, will later join. Hey you, is someone there? And here we have a good example of this, like yes, over here, um, or no, you're just hearing voices, literally, <laughs> which <laughs> might be interpreted as a bit of sass, but let's go with the sass, because it's always the funniest options for these streams. What the? Who are you? And as you can see right now, and his um, um, portrait, he's looking sort of right at us, at the camera, which was a um, very important um, sort of art direction or like thing I wanted to have in the portraits so you actually know when they're when he's talking directly to you. Later in the game also his little pixel chart will be looking up at the screen towards you just like I'm looking at you right now so you um, so it's like he's talking through the screen to you. Um, so he just asked us who we are and we can reply with I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. Where am I? A ghost, maybe, or your worst nightmare. And let's go with that option. And if you look just above me here, that there was this little pop-up that indicated um, that Sean liked your response. And as you can also see, he says, I don't have time for your interesting humor. So he's, he's up for the says, right? <laughs> and yeah, this little indicator um, shows that you positively influenced your relationship to Sean, which results in later in the game unlocking uh, specific powerful skills that you can use in battle, but also influences the way the story progresses. Um, the same goes for other characters that will join the party. There are uh, romance options if you want to <laughs> pursue that, and they're obviously influenced by um, how well these characters um, like the um, responses you don't give directly to them but to Sean and uh, yeah he'll sort of sometimes follow your suggestions sometimes not um, but yeah I hope you get the idea my head I'm probably just hearing things uh, unreal we are right I'm probably shocked as well because of Aura and I, I'm just imagining things. I didn't choose to be here either. Well, we sort of did, right? I chose to, <laughs> to wake up today really early and do this stream for you guys. No, I don't want to come across as jaded. <laughs> I'm very happy for all of you uh, being here. We almost had 200 viewers. Um, thanks all of you um, for watching. So let's go with, uh, just follow the call for help. A call for help? Who's calling you talking about? What? And this is referring to the little intro bit that is at the um, start of the demo that we skipped. So don't worry that you missed might some, that you might uh, have missed something. No, there's no time. I have to hurry to get to my sister. She needs me. Hurry then. I would if you... Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, and it's. Uh, I didn't really do a, um, a concrete tutorial on the this in game because I wanted the player to sort of discover this, just like Sean does, right? He, it, I guess, it sort of gets cleared away. He responds to these choices that he's actually talking to you directly, right? Rather than just have the text that explains it all. And uh, now we're getting to another element of the game, which is puzzles. Um, we're in a little secret basement of this temple. Who knows why this temp temple has a secret basement in the first place. 
Um, but yeah, there's a door uh, we can't get through, and I've just just now noticed some um, switches over here. Um, this one doesn't do anything. Maybe let's also try pulling the other one and see what happens. Maybe I can unlock it like the first one. Let's try, shall we? Oh. Damn, the statue is blocking the way. I guess we'll have to move it out of the way. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't move. What should we do? I don't know. Maybe let's explore a little bit. What's with that game? I don't know. Lock. What? What are those strange noises? I want to know what's behind the door. Or we should leave it alone. I want to know what's behind the door. <laughs> This door won't open that easily. Well, strange. Beast. Um, Eaglerich in the chat says, I think most of the tutorials, except for more than casual systems, are not really necessary. Learning by doing. Yeah, well, um, something that I can show you. Um, there's this tutorial sections, which um, we'll get to all of this. Uh, battle system stuff in a bit, but maybe like this little thing I've told you about earlier, this uh, little eye icon. Um, you can um, at any time, uh, if you can access the menu, check this little section, and I think this helps if you like pause the game for like a month or something and want, want to get back into it to have this little. Um, um, little collection of just quick hints that help you get back into it because that's something I always struggle with sometimes I just pause a game for no apparent reason and then if it, it, there's sort of this hurdle of getting back into it because you forgot how the um, battle system works or stuff like that and altar what else you sound so surprised never seen an altar before um, yeah it's cool with that this voice, it's not real, just my imagination. Yeah, imagine how you would feel if suddenly you'd start hearing a voice in your head. I need to get it together. I just want to help you. Yeah, get a grip. Let's go with the sass all the way. It would be much easier if you... Who are you anyway? And it's name picking time. What should we go with? Any suggestions? I think in the last stream we named him Sean. Ah oh, no, you don't hear a voice here. No, it's all it's all uh, silent up there. Nothing happens up here. <laughs> Just static noise. Um, we could go once more with Sean. Um, let me just quickly check something. Um, while I'm also thinking about a name we could pick. Um, there it is. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, maybe, let, maybe let's just go with Sean once more, just for the fun. <laughs> Or maybe I shouldn't. Let's go with my name. I don't want to uh, um, <clears throat> be a bad example. <laughs> I've always picked the funniest um, player choices. What about your name? And yeah, once more we can pick a little bit more sass or just saying I'm Manu. Um, let's go with I'm Manu. I don't want to be a <laughs> <laughs> uh, too proud of my old name. <laughs> Manu. I like my name. I like her name as well. Could be worse, I guess. True. 
And once more he like that. He's up for a bit of um bit of patter. Patter. Bit of banter. Wait a moment, am I talking to myself again? Don't move. Who are you? Are you from the Ecclesia? No. Then why are you here if you're not one of them? Calm down. My sister collapsed upstairs at the altar. She needs my help. I'm just searching for an exit. How did you avoid the magic defense mechanism? Switches outside by just activating them? Duh. <laughs> I'm not sure if your acting is very convincing or you're just really without a clue. Interesting. I just want to get outside. It'll soon be too late for that if you don't help me. There's another switch in this very room, and it seems like you're able to activate them. Well, if you haven't just stopped me. He's a bit sassy as well. Incredible. Who are you? I... why was that incredible? Technically, this whole facility should only be accessible to a certain group of people. It was only thanks to you that I was able to get in here. I've been trying to get in here for quite some time now. Wait! Who are you? The less you know, the better, believe me. Ooh. But I... Be sure to get your sister and leave before they arrive, and never come back again. So, with the statue out of the way, let's try pulling these levers, levers, whatever, once more. Where is she? We can actually uh, find her. She's one in one of the other rooms. Um, but before we do that, I'm just reminded um, that there's something else I'd like to show you. Um, because we have um, some options that might uh, make life a bit easier for you depending on how you like them. Um, you can change the walking speed of the character, also the text speed, which was a recent suggestion after the latest stream. <coughs> and also the uh, difficulty of action commands, which is something in the battle system, which we'll get to in a second or in a minute. Um, but yeah, you can adjust a bunch of various things. Also these little pop-ups that indicate if a character um, um, answer a few interesting or not, <laughs> liked it or not. Um, if that ruins revert in some way, you can turn these off as well. And yeah, I think the mysterious woman is over there. And here she is. Let's talk to her once more. You, re you should really go now. Oh. Whatever she's doing here. The mouse on the screen. Oops, thanks for that. Well, let's head back to Aura. Oops. What did I do? You've activated my trap card. All the work done for nothing, huh? Not at all. But why would a temple need a hidden sublevel? And where did the strange woman go? Well, we actually saw her. I already forgot about your sister. Right. Damn, I'm talking to you again. And I'm happy about that. Oh, he liked that. <laughs> We're doing very great with <laughs> with Sean's relationship. He locked her in and she won't be able to switch some levers. Yeah, shit. Well, I guess she has to wait until the next dude comes along who's able to activate all these things. 
something real quick um, because uh, this should be working um, yeah that's the classic demonstration effect uh, I'm not sure if that's actually uh, a term in um, English but there's a very good German word for this which basically just means whenever <laughs> you're showcasing something, something will go wrong that doesn't go wrong at any other time. Um, 32, okay, okay, okay. Let me just quickly access something behind the scenes. slowly and that was something I mentioned before you can um, change the options here and I think sorry I just have to do this again um, but yeah you can change how fast they move if it's too hard for you but let's keep on going and forget about this little hiccup <laughs> sister Sean, I can barely hear her breathe. I, I don't know how we could help her. Pay attention to the music once more. It's a bit hard. I'm here. Sean, I feel so tired. Are you saying you need to rest a little? I 
I don't know how that happened. Maybe I really should have taken a break. You have to stay awake, Laura. Can you hear me? Dad and Mom miss everything again, but it's so beautiful here. They would have liked it too. Or Haley. Too bad I didn't get to see her again. No, don't worry, we'll just go there, here, not all together next time. <laughs> but Sean, Dad's legs shot after all. You made it too, right, despite your illness. Sean, you're bleeding. From the fall. Knocked his head right on the, on the debris. Oh, it's nothing. I just hurt my head while falling down. You really can't take care of yourself, brother. And you're obviously way better at it. Do you think you can get a glimpse of the Sanctum of Core on the way to Numenor? What are you talking about, Laura? Laura? She, is, she isn't breathing. We have to do something. Aura, no, please. Please don't. It's, it's too late. to see the Temple of the Clouds with, with my little sister. A lie. We found your friend in the underworld. Berserpina, what? He's speaking the truth, we... We know that you operate on behalf of the rebels. That's why you try to break into the lower levels. This is a misunderstanding. Take care of those dirty thieves. Understood. Uh -oh. This time, we're accompanied by Raphael, who has a bit of a different action command, which we'll see. I'm just after Sean's. Let's hope I can pull it off. Ooh, oh. Just got it in there. So let's hope I won't die in this ocean, I must
so. <laughs> Damn it! Step aside, you fool. No, wait! Raphael, no! What are you waiting for? There's still one of them left. I finally found you. Who is this? What? How? How is this possible? Seems like we found a whole nest of rebels. Sean, run away! Yeah, let's go up there. Let's put an end to this. Die! Spirit, but how is that possible? These whole sequences were actually so fun to do. I always love um, doing stuff in <laughs> there. Everything is just exploding, going up particles. Oh, yeah, I just read that story. you too if you don't get it together, so come with me. Raphael! PC, um, so I get a quick sneak peek, sneak peek of the um, part one, which is once more releasing on July 1st, which is in less than two weeks. Can you imagine? Um, yeah, I think we're almost also at the end of this uh, of our hour long slot uh, for the Steam Next Fest. Um, thank you, everyone for uh, joining the stream, um, apart from the small hiccup with the action commands. Uh, it was very cool to showcase uh, Numina once more. You can, if you're watching this um, on Steam, you can wishlist the game now if um, you found this little showcase interesting. Um, um, and yeah, again, part one will release on July 1st, part two later this year. You can start playing the demo right away and then take over your safe games to part one when it releases um, so you don't have to start all over again. And yeah, it's just under two weeks at this point. Um, so yeah, it's like taking a quick break and like we've seen with the tutorials, there shouldn't be much of a hurdle for you <laughs> to get back into it. Um, it releases on PC, Linux and Mac. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I should be saying, <laughs> I want to say. Um, yeah, thanks so much again for checking in. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of Steam Next Fest. Um, it's been very great um, 
for me this far was to get some first feedback on the game and people playing the demo it's very exciting and yeah, yeah I can't wait for in two weeks July 1st <laughs> Have a great day, everyone, whatever time it might be. Have a good night, have a good day, good afternoon, whatever, and see you soon. Bye, everyone.